Breaking the cycle of addiction can be nearly impossible or at least seem that way for so many in the grip of addiction. There is a drug rehabilitation program that is boasting an incredible recovery rate. It's free and it's right here in our neighborhood. I'm gonna show you how it works, but first a warning. The video we're about to show you may be disturbing for some viewers. Christina, come on, wake up. This is body camera footage of an overdose in Winnebago County in 2017. Grab my Narcan off of there so we can do another dose here in a little bit. There were 916 opioid deaths that year in our state. She wasn't one of them. This is her now. My kids almost lost me. Everybody almost lost me right there. That was the fifth time Christina Farina Real overdosed on heroin and the last. How many more times can you keep going? It was this moment when Winnebago County Sheriff John Motts knew something different needed to be done to stop the cycle of addiction. I watched the video and uh, it was the first time that we we didn't we didn't think like normal law enforcement. Sheriff Motts contacted Christina and asked her to watch the video for the first time. My thought was anything that's going to change anybody's future behavior is to see themselves dead, right? You don't get to do that. Sheriff Motts helped Christina find a treatment program that ended her addiction and started something new. He developed the Sobriety Treatment Assisted Recovery Program, or SAR program, an intensive recovery program for inmates where they can focus on recovery with individual therapy, interactive speakers, connecting with recovered addicts, and the option of the medication Vivitrol, which blocks the effects of opioids and alcohol. The program begins in jail and continues support after the inmates are released. I'm trying to create the environment that is more ther therapeutic, but yet it's still jail. And that's the fine line that we're, we're walking, um, but it's, it works. Caleb Wilson is a recent graduate of the STAR program. Coming here and being in a positive environment at the first time I've ever been in jail was definitely a really big stepping stone. I think that's kind of like um, the epitome of what that program is. Caleb is now two and a half months sober and has joined the 636 inmates who have joined the program since it began in 2022. 46% are still sober. That is astronomical compared to any other program in the United States. So it's drawing a lot of attention. And it all comes back to this moment, a woman who is able to turn her life around and the sheriff who knew addiction recovery needed to be different. It's not, to say that we stumbled on it, um, I mean, I gotta say, Christina was like the, we saw that we were connected to a success. We were personally connected to a success and that really made a difference. Just a reminder, the STAR program doesn't end when inmates are released. The support continues and that's what makes it so successful. Go to NBC26.com for more information.